Hi there. Well, it's my uh, last full day in Europe, and in fact, my last day in Europe has started over here. It's about it's almost two o'clock in the morning in London. I actually made it, in spite of my own best efforts, from Amsterdam to London today. Long stories behind that. And uh, it seemed like everything that could go wrong went wrong, and yet here I am in what is actually the best hotel room I've been in this whole trip. And they've all been pretty good. And uh, it, it's been one of those things that occasionally I would stop and pray and ask, you know, I, I know that we have to go through trials, that the rain falls on the just and the unjust, and, and it's okay because eventually it'll end. And uh, so I'm standing there about 12.30 at night. I am on back streets in Uxbridge, outside of London. And I've managed to get directions to Brunel University, which is where the Lancaster Hotel is. So now I'm walking down the main drag and I'm getting into where the campus is. I don't know where the hotel is. And I don't know where the campus security office is to get my keys. And I'm like... One more time, Lord, can you give me a hand here? Five college students out of nowhere just appeared out of down the sidewalk. And I stopped them and asked them, you know, how do I get to the security office? And after that, how do I get to the Lancaster Hotel once I got my key? And they proceeded to adopt me. So when God decides he's going to send help, he doesn't send one person, he sends an army. So I sat outside the hotel when I got my key, and then they all and they carried my bags, and they walked me up to the door of the hotel, and just before I went in, I said, hey, you guys have been great. I want to sing you a song. Said, hey, great. So I put the guitar together, and I did this. I don't know why, but this song had started running through my head ever since I got the hotel key. should I say she once had me she showed me a room isn't it good Norwegian wood she told me she asked me to stay and she told me to sit anywhere so I looked Drinking her wine. We talked until noon, and then she said, It's time for bed. She told me she worked in the morning and started to laugh. I told her I didn't, and crawled off to sleep. And when I awoke, I was alone, this bird had flown. So I lit a fire, isn't it good? No, we So it has, it has been a day, and days, and half a day. But at the end of it, I'm going to take a shower and curl up in a comfortable bed and hope that tomorrow will be mildly easier. I won't bore you with the details, but, you know, trials and tribulations... Um, they end. They're not worth getting all worked out of shape about. You know, and those of you who know me will think, is this Rick? No. <laughs> so, uh, 
But, uh, you know, I, I knew they would. And yeah, I got kind of stressed out. And I didn't scream at anybody and, uh, or nothing. And uh, it worked out in the end. Um, it's like I was about to the point that if I had failed one more time to get out of Amsterdam, I was just going to go look for an apartment. <laughs> but uh, I got out. I, I got to do, I, I, you know, some of the things I've learned is if I ever do this again, I'm going to plan a lot better. But I didn't have a lot of specific things I was going to do. I, was, I, wanted, I came over here to meet some people. And while I was coming over to meet some people, I went to the Van Gogh Museum and I accomplished uh, I, I got to meet two of the people. The one I was supposed to meet today, I didn't get to. So who knows, maybe I'll make a separate trip to London and visit Ben. Hi, Ben. But I did get to see um, Rob and Ruben, as you saw from the other video. And had a great time, and they're awesome, of course. So uh, very glad I made the trip. Wish William could have come with me. Because A, she'd had a great time, and B, she'd have planned it a lot better. Uh, I think I bit off a little too much. I'll be happy if I uh, wind up in Logan tomorrow afternoon. That'll be pretty good. And then, of course, on the bus to Concord, where they can pick me up. So there's light at the end of the tunnel. it from the UK and from Europe and from me and uh, unless some bizarre opportunity shows up tomorrow the next time I will see you will be live and in person back in New Hampshire hope you uh, hope you've enjoyed this vacation with me I'll see you soon <laughs>